Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and uh, we're at a brand new store, it's called Shields. And we're gonna actually go and check out their EDC survival and camping section and see what they've got in stock. Lee moly. And I thought Texas was stocked. Welcome to Utah. Goodness. All right, so we're on the second floor of Shells and we've got Mystery Ranch and Eberly stock. They are freaking everywhere. This place is amazing. This probably takes what I've seen at Cabela's and Bass Pro Shop and really takes it to a whole nother level. So as expected, they have the double nest hammocks from Eno. And uh, I mean, these are on sale. So with this being a big box retailer, the fact that they're these are like 60, 70 bucks and they're gonna be 25% off. Not a bad gig. So my family and I, we have actually these backpacking chairs and typically when you're gonna go out hiking or camping up the mountains or even bugging out, <sighs> having chairs seems useless, but the fact these weigh like freaking like eight ounces, they weigh nothing at all, and you get a full size chair so you can come plunk your butt on something, it's kind of awesome. So Solon's one of my favorite brands. I like this, they have the rapid deployment first aid blanket, they have some of the scout survival kits. These are good to put in your glove box, some backup tools for signaling and starting fires, things like that. And if you get into a situation, something I definitely recommend putting in a first aid kit, which I'm glad we see here, is the clotting sponges. Because if you're up in the mountains or you're somewhere where you really can't just get help right away, something like this, if you get attacked by an animal, you get stomped off, you just hurt yourself, you just trip and fall somewhere and no one else is around, those quick clotting sponges can save your life. So I want people to let me know if they've ever used the Sierra saw by um, Coglunds. But um, I've never seen this. This just looks really, really cheap. But if you've decided to use it because it was 10 bucks and you wanted to fold things on the cheap, uh, drop down in the comments and let me know how you actually like this performance. So on this end cap right here, it's just carabiners and different connection points, things like that. We found this. This is from Dark Energy. This is micro USB cable. So if you're going to be charging up a phone, your flashlight, things like that, um, they actually have it wrapped in paracord. So it'll actually make your cable just a little bit tougher. And we can attest to this, and my kids and my wife will say, when you're up in the mountains, holy freaking crap, can your stuff get jacked up really quick? I have honestly never seen these. These are the first time I've ever seen these. These are some fire tenders. Apparently they'll burn for five to seven minutes. They're non-toxic and odorless, so you could use it for fuel. Emberlit survival stove, something like that, and actually boil some water, cook your food. But yeah, like $3.99 for a 10 pack, this would be interesting. I might actually pick these up and bring them to the channel and we can uh, do some field testing. For $10, Keeping your kids in line by zapping them in the boot. I'm kidding, guys. No, this is a fly sweater. Kill bugs. <laughs> Whistles out there, but this is a Survival 8501 whistle. And uh, this is really cheap. It's only $1.99, and they have some other ones. But while we were up in the mountains, we noticed that even having a whistle while our family and friends were kind of just walking around and hiking in the mountains, it was always good to have one. Like, we have one right here. It's a small one we got from our buddies over at Fiberlight. But whistles in general, while you're out in the woods, you can get separated. will help you find each other and relocate and it can prevent something pretty drastic like you getting lost and being in a really bad situation and turning a fun day into a horrible day. So starting at $14.99, they've got headlamps for all you people who wanna go out walking in an excursion out in the night time. I can tell you, man, they may not be fancy, they may not pull in a lot of views, but headlamps are some of the most practical lights I've used in my entire life. So they've got a lot of good brands here. They have Catadyne, which are from Sweden. They're really from Europe. They're amazing. Got Life Straw, MSR. MSR is one of the top rated brands. And then they also have Sawyer Mini Water Filters that a lot of us are familiar with. 100,000 gallons of squeeze bottles, all that good stuff. And if you have that situation where you just want the extra layer protection, that red line virus protection, man, that just can put some of the extra peace of mind in your pack. So they got Backpackers Pantry, Mountain House, a bunch of stuff, and obviously all the snacky and treat food you could possibly imagine. 
But um, these are pretty normally priced. You got the three servings for macaroni and cheese, $7.99 for spaghetti. So you're getting this is about average, what you would find in any other retailer. Heard of Mountain House, I've heard of Hidden Valley Food Storage, heard of Backpackers Pantry. You guys know the big brands. Who is this company? Because I want to learn more about these guys. I'm kind of interested. I may actually pick these up. My only hesitation is the fact that for two servings, these are 12 bucks. So we're looking at about one and a half times more for the same stuff. But maybe if they're cleaner, they're better tasting. I don't know. If you've actually had experience with them, drop down in the comments. So they got a bunch of cookware, pots and cups and things you can do. But um, this is a question I've got. And I want to know if anybody owns this. We've seen this in a few places like REI and Bass Pro Shop. This is from Sea to Summit. This is like a five piece kit that's like $109. Like, would you really pay over a hundred bucks for this? And if you have, why? I just want to know. I'm not making fun of you. I'm just, I'm actually curious because I have no idea why someone would actually pay that much money for something that just seems to be aluminum and silicon. I think I just found my all American bug out vehicle, y'all. So it took a little bit of looking, but I found the knives and multi tools. Ho, ho, ho. Baby, yeah, yeah. So I've heard of uh, Outdoor Edge. I have quite a few of their stuff, and I've heard of Havilon. I've avoided them because I'm not really a fan of like scalpel razor blades for anything like that, but this is a brand I've never heard of before. It's called Ruko. I'm assuming they're gonna be Chinese overseas manufacturer, but if anybody ha in Utah specifically, any of my viewers have experience with them, let me know. So there's drink koozies, and then there's Apocalypse Forever Float drink koozies. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, uh, but <laughs> that's not that's not fair court. <laughs> One question for the live straw: Would you pay sixty bucks for this? Just curious. All right, we're getting near the hunting section. They got the spotlights and some different headlamp bundle packages. But this particular item right here caught my eyes: Micro Blast. I've never heard of it. It's from Browning. It runs for fifty hours for on a single charge. You can clip it under your hat or wear it as a headlamp but it only has 30 lumens of power, which is okay, I guess. And it looks like it also offers either a lens cover or an ability to have the green LEDs. So if you're doing any nighttime hunting or stalking, but yeah, this is pretty cool. Guys, they got all the knives. They got K-Bar, Mall Ninja, Shrade, Kershaw, Gerber. They got everything, it's amazing. I wonder what subscription service we just saw that in. <laughs> I do reckon that this is probably one of the smallest knives I've ever seen in my entire life. And who the heck is Summit Trail? So they got a whole section of Smith's tools. Now you guys know I'm a fan of the Pocapel X2, but this could just end up being a new EDC item. I dig it. I feel like I've seen some of this stuff somewhere, maybe in a subscription service. So we got a little bit of loot from Shields. Have some fun. Yeah, now it's time to check out. Everything okay? Anybody want a giant Sam splint? <laughs> 